here with Melody of Eat Drink Momo, and she's going to show us how to make a breakfast option using her products. Okay, so here we have a strawberry chia collagen pudding. So let's start off with uh, introducing our ingredients. So a really good chia seed pudding, um, so the base is really important because it needs to be really creamy. So here we have our signature almond milk. And second is our chia seed pudding. So this is two tablespoons. Chia seeds are really high in protein and have a lot of omega-3 content, right? Yes, yes. And then it's a great source of uh, protein and fiber as well. Mm. And this is a uh, collagen protein. And I'm sure women usually, you know, women love collagen because it helps skin elasticity, you know, hydration. It's a beauty powder, right? And then we have fresh strawberries, which we're going to blend together to create a base for the chia seed. And then as uh, to decorate and for a topping, we're going to use our signature almond butter. And we're going to have fresh fruits on top and our homemade granola. Yum. All right. So should I help you open this again? Yes. So open it. We're going to use half. Okay. A half of a cup. So you see here half? Yeah. Okay. So let me do this. Yes. The key to the chia seed pudding is to is knowing the ratio. So I usually do two, ta two tablespoons of chia seed to half a cup of liquid. Okay. So this is half a cup of Momo. I chuck the strawberries in. Yeah, I chuck the strawberries in. Yay. And we're gonna blend with the protein powder. This is vanilla flavor, so it's gonna be super amazing. Okay, and we just cover it and blend. Okay, now we take it out and we just simply pour it into our chia seed. So we soak it completely. Okay, and you just and you lay it and you keep it overnight. So um, the chia seed gets soaks up all the, um, the liquid. So it becomes a pudding texture. Okay, so here we have a pre-made chia seed pudding that we soaked overnight. And now we're gonna decorate the bowl. So it's actually really simple. So we have some sliced fruit over here and we have um, almond butter and we have um, freshly made granola. So why don't you open this fresh jar and I'm going to start decorating. So we'll just... Wow, it's so creamy. Mm. Freshly made. It smells so good. You know how creamy it is. You've had it many yeah. times. Should I mix it up a bit? Yeah, yeah, mix it up a bit. Wow, look at that, guys. <laughs> Hold on. We have made a Momo... <laughs> A M O M O for you here. <laughs> wow! Uh, it says it's, M O M O. It's not perfect, but it will do the job. Ah! Okay. <laughs> that is so extra. We tried. We really did. <laughs> okay. Here's M O M O. Wow, it says Momo. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna have our granola. This is freshly made yesterday, so we're gonna just sprinkle it on sprinkle top. Sprinkle it on top. I like it super, you know, crunchy. It's like big bites. And then you, just, you can just sprinkle the almond butter. Don't do like, don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Wait, I got it. Okay. It looks really good. Yeah, there you have it. Wow. Ta-da! That looks very nutritious. It's really, it's such a good on-the-go thing. You know, I put it in a mason jar and I just grab it to go when I have, when I don't have time to have breakfast. Should we try it? Yeah, yeah. Do the honors. Mmm. Wow, the almond butter adds a really like interesting texture, finishing texture. Because it's so, we have different textures here. We have like a crunchy, mm. we have very smooth, 
We have really good fruits. And then the almond butter is so smooth and creamy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. You can really taste like the vanilla as well. Mm. The almond butter is really thick too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a super gooey condensed chocolate sauce. Oh. <laughs> That's good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. it. I mean, it's just pure almonds and it's a great source of Oh my of gosh, fat. I can't stop. Mm. There you have it, Melody's super easy to make strawberry collagen chia seed pudding.